Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the broadcast. My name's Todd, and you are watching Digging Life 21. Today, we are on probably a job that I am more excited about than I've been in a long time. We are going to build a road. Not just any road, but a gravel road. And it's going to be one of the, it's definitely going to be the best road in this community. I know that for a fact. We're not going to go into a whole lot of detail. I'm going to let the video speak for itself on this one. I'm just going to tell you step by step what I'm doing. We'll do just a couple of clips of me doing each step. But today it's simple. We're just going to strip off, lay fabric, gravel this section. It's the easiest section of this road, but it does get a lot more difficult. So be sure to subscribe and ding the bell so you can follow us along on this driveway journey. I've got almost my whole lineup of equipment on this job. We're using the Triaxle Mac, and today we'll be using the 289 D3 Cat Skid Steer, and more than likely the Kubota Tractor M7060 model. As you can see, there's not really grass on this yard. It's mostly moss, and it goes right down to a good hard base. So there's really no topsoil to remove. About as easy as it gets. That went extremely well. Like I said, there's really nothing on top of the ground in the clay layer. I'm just going to grab the, I'm going to grab the tractor box blade. I'm going to make this as even as I can, nice and flat. And then we'll get some stone down. Or actually fabric. Fabric, then stone. All right, let's grade this sucker off. quite happy with that so far we've been here for an hour hour and 15 minutes and we've got a road bed friends ladies and gentlemen when you first start into this business aim for you know you want to reach for perfection be okay with knowing you're never going to get there but the higher you reach the closer you're going to get just get it smooth get it close Clay is really hard to grade perfectly. You get it close. Then your gravel is so easy to grade. It's so much more easy to work. So get your subgrade, the soil, dirt, close. Then focus on your gravel skills. Let's roll this fabric out. I'm going to line it up with this side that I know I don't want to go any farther that way. And then whatever extra fabric I have, I'm just gonna fold it over and staple it in. This is gonna make for a fun little experiment. 
we're gonna be hauling a lot of material in out of here a lot of heavy loads i'm gonna mark the end of the fabric and then we'll be able to see if initially the road holds up better on truck traffic having fabric or not came out pretty good now we're just going to knock the center down a little bit i'm happy with that part and i don't think that that load is near enough to make it but just in case i want to go ahead and tear in here and install this culvert pipe and get my borrow pit started and at least get this graded out. I think that'll, that'll make me happy. All right, I just kind of leveled that to see how much I need to raise it. And it may not be too, too awfully much. This sycamore right in front of me, right there. She wants me to protect its important to her. And that's exactly what we'll do. What I'm doing now is I'm clearing out a good area to work. I'm just gonna strip every bit of these briars and bramble and brush. Try not to get too much dirt because I'm gonna try to put it in the burn pile and burn it when we get done. Joel scrub. Now just to clarify for the new folks, you do not have to be picky when you're stripping the organic material off the top of the ground. You're, you're pretty much just sinking the teeth of the bucket in pull it towards you. It's fine if you get a little bit of dirt in there, you can always shake it loose later. Again, reach for perfection, but accept that you'll never get there. All right, now we're gonna strip the top soil. This a little borrow pit. And I can go back into this bank. I want to. What I'm going to do first, I'm just going to do me a little test here, see how much topsoil is here. See, there's quite a bit in this spot. Let's set our topsoil over here. That looks like an area that holds water anyway. It's going down. There's some clay. It's a light colored clay. I'd rather have red, but. Yep, that's the good stuff. So we know we gotta go down about six inches. So we're just gonna start stripping about that deep. Get down to some decent stuff. trench for the culvert pipe I'm gonna put some really good fall on it that way it cleans itself out very effectively that's some pretty clean dirt
Oh. Well, look at that. That pipe was definitely clogged. It wasn't flowing, but now we got water pouring out of it, coming from somewhere. I'm gonna let it keep draining just to make sure that it's not feeding off a spring and we need to tap into it. Now before I get too far along and I can't reach, I'm gonna take my, the teeth of my bucket and evenly I'm gonna scrape the bottom of this trench. That way when I lay my pipe in there, all the corrugations, the ribs of the pipe will be able to bite into that bottom help seal around it. The reason I flat bottom my bucket like this is just easier to pull a consistent slope. For me it is anyway. I don't think we're gonna need that plane anymore. We're replacing its uh, Now that I got my trench dug, I'm going to clean up these edges of the inflow. That way, once I put my pipe in and I start covering it up, it's not going to just immediately get a whole bunch of dirt in the entrance of it. I can always put dirt back. Yeah, see that pipe was barely under there. It would never survive this bit of road. Never, ever, ever. breaking the walls down of my trenches like that. Number one, I like how the dirt will roll off those edges in and under the pipe. I've just always had really good success with putting pipes in this way. And if you can hug the pipe really good on the sides, man, that's, that's where you really give them strength. that is uh, that's a good clean clay right there that's what you want nice what I can do is pull it closer to me and back up and just toss it back there onto the pipe then I use my tractor to pack it in. It's a heavy son of a gun. I am telling you, that tractor is heavy. Being 
careful not to dig the teeth into your pipe. Beautiful soil. I'm telling you, holy Moses, that's gorgeous. I'm doing here in a second. Now you see how that's lower over the pipe when I drive my machine across here it's going to put more pressure on the sides of the pipe oh it's drizzling we may be getting ready to have to uh, put some rock down fast all right what you guys are going to see now is just a whole bunch of me digging that burrow pit out laying it up over here skid steer grabbing that good good clay that's coming out and I'm just going to start ramping my way up the road. Unfortunately, it actually started raining pretty good and I had to pull the camera out inside, didn't get any video, but I got this all built up with that good clay. It's pretty spongy right now, but I'm certain I, I won't get probably farther than here with that load. So next week when we come back, I'll be able to finish compacting this with the tractor really well before we proceed on so let's see how far that load goes Thanks to each and every one of you for making a difference to my company and my life, for me and my family, obviously. This gravel driveway project is off to a great start, but the challenges are ahead. So if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss a notification. Comment Mac, because this Mac truck is going to be hauling a lot of material down to this project. We love you guys. See you on the next one.